I didn't see y'all, but you saw me. That's crazy. Y'all must be ready for the next episode of Bikini Body Conscious Living. And I get it. But on this episode, it's about to get real lit. Because guess what, baby? We got my brother Big Brody on the show, and Big Brody ain't no joke. He may come off as a sweet like feather, but this motherfucker ain't no joke. Also, it's hosted by Audrey, Selena, and Kameez, your three favorite hosts. It don't get no better than them three, because, you know, two is a crowd, but three is a party, if you know what I mean. Ding! <laughs> and welcome back to Bikini Body Conscious Living and I am Selena taking place of Camise. As promised, I'm going to be bringing out Dr. Audrey to show us how to make a great cheat meal today, clam chowder. I can't wait to hear about it. So Audrey, come on out. Hello. How are you? Good, nice to see you. Look at, thank you. You look wonderful in your gold dress. Thank Very you. nice. I have to tell you though, this dress is beautiful. You have to tell me who makes it thank and you. where did you get it? I got my dress at Macy's and it's a Michael Kors. Isn't it great? I love the I color. love it. it th no, this is my favorite color. Mm -hmm. You don't mind if I go and pick one up, do you? Not at all. There's a bunch of colors <laughs> and stuff and patterns. It's great. I love it. Well, I made a cheat meal today, but I have I to tell you guys, I cheated a little bit because I used Selena's recipe. This is not my recipe. You know that I try to stay fit, try to teach you guys healthy ways of eating and healthy things to do, but so you we cheat all have too. Absolutely. I, I love, love it. cheat meals. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Bikini Body Conscious Living. I'm Dr. Audrey Beth, your personal trainer, and today I have our fashion model, Tony Mitchell with me to show you some exercises. And we are actually coming to you from this beautiful Waldorf Astoria Resort out in the desert. I mean, this is amazing. We've got this great pool behind us, fresh air with yes, a breeze, which yes. is really nice. It is just so gorgeous out here. And today we actually are going to show you an exercise that works multiple body parts, which Good. you know, I love those exercises that are multi-purpose. So we are doing a push-up with a leg lift and everybody out there I want you to join us. So I'm going to have Tony in just a moment get down into push-up position because we are working shoulders, triceps, we are going to work our butts and we are going to work our hamstrings a little. So Okay, she's getting ready to kill me but I'm ready. Okay, down to push-up position and I'm going to join her in just a second. All right, Everybody out there, get ready. We're going down in just a second here. Get comfortable. We're going to do this nice and slow to a push-up, down, and on the way up, we're going to push up and lift that leg. Great. And hold it for a second, and we're going to go back down, and another push-up, and we're going to lift the left leg this time. Great. Let's do it again. Down, and push. Everybody out there should be joining us. Down, and push. Keep going, Tony. Oh, God. <laughs> I told you she was going to kill me. She is hard. So everybody out there, I don't know if you can see this, lift that leg nice and high down and push. And you really want to squeeze those Honey, glutes. And welcome to Bikini Body Conscious Living. I'm Audrey, here with you from sunny, beautiful Southern California. I have Selena with me, our favorite cook, Hi. and our fashion model, Tony. And we have a really Hello. special guest today, Big Brody. This guy is amazing. Social media. Phenomenon. I mean, Instagram, YouTube, I'm going to let him tell you all about it. This guy is just incredible. And we are at the Art of Rap Festival, and we are so happy that he is here. This guy is just incredible. So, Big Brody, thank you for being here. No, thank you, Audrey, for that introduction. So gracious. <laughs> Phenomenon. Yes. Eh, guru, I don't know, guru, phenomenon, sensation, I don't... I can't Amazing. say enough. Yeah. Just well, thank you. Big like Brody. I said, thank you. <laughs> I don't know. We might have to get him to flex all home. Can you get a close up of that? No, his biceps <laughs> are like the size of my thigh. Yeah, yeah. You know, I stay in the gym. I work out. Very conscious of my health and my child's health. You mm -hmm. know, so I keep him year long. Sports, basketball, football, eating right, drinking right, sleeping good. You know, just exercising, mm -hmm. thinking about life after, you know, youth. Now, were you always kind of like this? Like, is your son already like this? Or is he, Are you know, no, were you like a scrawny kid at any yeah. time in your life? I was a string or? bean. I was a string bean coming well, up. This guy was That's a string bean. I don't know. Yeah. 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 You guys, yeah. you can see this. We need to, take pictures. To, about, to about 16 years old, I was a little guy. String bean. Always had nice height, athleticism. Mm -hmm. But um, I really took to the weights at the age of 16. Started eating, you know, a, a little, little more protein and mm -hmm. blew up. And, uh. Ever since then, I've been, uh, I've been Big Brody. Now, is that something like, 
when you say at 16 you started working out a little more lifting weights, were you educated about, you know, proper nutrition and, and exercise and athletics and things like that? Or is that something you went and sought out on your own? No, I, I really wasn't uh, into nutrition or nothing at the time. You know, mm -hmm. what kid is, you know? I agree. I drank my soda, ate my candy and all that, but uh, I always had a dream of being, you know, a big guy. Do that know? again. I, he does like that little Selena twist, but he does it without even moving you know his what? shoulder. He's yeah, gonna yeah, have to do the yeah, Selena yeah, twist today. Yeah, we, we call it twerking. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Selena, put, put oh, your God, hand. Okay, go. <laughs> oh my God! You two, back to the interview. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. We'll finish the interview. It's, 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 it's a guy like twerk. <laughs> uh, a guy twerk. I like that. Okay. Yeah. So, like I was saying, um. Really wasn't conscious of what I was eating when I was younger, but uh, as I grew a little older, you know, you have to be. Yes. Because uh, diabetes is very, yes. very big in, mm -hmm. in my community. Mm -hmm. So I've lost, I've lost a cousin, a grandmother, mm -hmm. to this disease. So uh, that would very, make you... very conscious. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you're and, from back east. Uh, yes, I'm from Jersey. Mm -hmm. I would advise everybody: stay on your children, watch what they're eating. Mm -hmm. Parents, this is our job. Mm -hmm. That's right. Your kid is overweight. It's your fault. Not that. You know what, Audrey? Mm. You know, you um you have to have a license to have a dog, an animal. But anybody can have a child. When you were growing up, as like when we were, I mean, do you remember there being overweight kids in your class? Or? I probably had probably one or two fat kids in my school. Mm -hmm. Right. Period. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Not, Not just even in my your class, class. That just is in my whole school. school. Right. Yeah. So to look at today's kids, mm -hmm. you know, knowing that they're sitting at home on the phone, on their video games, and not getting enough exercise, it's on the parents, you know? Take these things away for a little while. Right. Get out there, run around, ride your bike, exercise. Nutrition. Now, you, what, what do you eat? I mean, you said you ate candy and everything as a kid, but now what does Brody eat to get the size that you are, to stay healthy, and what do to you teach your son? Yes, well, and then what do you teach your son? Don't, don't get me mistaken, I still do have my little cheats here and there, but mm -hmm. for the most part, I'm protein heavy, you know, mm -hmm. very nutritious. Protein mm -hmm. keeps the muscle up, uh -huh. you know, and um, I cut back on the sugary drinks and things of that order, and uh, and I try to teach that to my child as well, you know, a lot of water, mm -hmm. and uh, just he wants to stay fit, so uh -huh. therefore it's kind of easy. Mm -hmm. You feel me? He wants to be a super mm -hmm. athlete, so okay. therefore he helps me do my job. Now, do you have a favorite meal? Uh, if I had to say, mine's is a surf and turf, a steak and lobster. Oh, well, <laughs> not a bad a choice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, do you prepare that yourself, or do you go? No, I usually do all the eating, and no, none of no, the cooking. No, none of the cooking. <laughs> okay. okay. Are we dipping the lobster in butter? Audrey. <laughs> I mean, come on. Who wants to have lobster that's not dipped in like of course we got it in a butter lemon sauce, melted butter, <laughs> and, and don't forget. <laughs> I got a bow here. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm here with professional athlete and professional boxer, David Rodriguez. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. We're here to talk about health, the importance of eating right, and I would like to know your backstory and your athletic uh, journey. Well, it's a long one, that's for sure. Uh, uh, 36 and 2, 34 knockouts, 24 in the first round. Beat Mike Tyson's first round knockout record. Uh, six belt heavyweight champion. And uh, it was a long, long uh, emotional journey, but now I'm taking a little step back from boxing, a little hiatus to do other things. Now, boxing must be totally hard on your body, so you need to eat right while you're training. What was that like? What was that journey of constantly having to make the right choices on eating mm. right? It was painful. Uh, as painful as it hits, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm one that do, I really don't like to eat right. You know what I mean? I, I love to have my, my cheap food every day. So uh, for me, um, you know, any t it was a lot of traveling in boxing. So let's say like I had to go from, uh, I always like to drive because I'm scared of flying. So I would, let's say like I had to go from Houston to, to Austin or to El Paso or to Vegas. I always like to drive. So along the way, of course, all I'm going to see is things as, such as like a, a McDonald's, right? But I would have to be conscious about what I was going to put into my body. So I'd go in there and get a, a salad or a, a grilled chicken sandwich at McDonald's or something like that. But uh, that was usually my first choice, you know, like a, a McChicken or a, or a, or a salad and, and then a... They have a have yogurt, and, yeah, a yogurt no. instead of an ice cream, you know, along those guidelines. You. If you saw yourself as a kid or any other kids, what advice would you give them about eating right to prepare to be an athlete or even just in your everyday life? Uh, you know, basically, for me, it was just I would have eaten a little cleaner. 
I wouldn't have so many uh, greasy meals. Um, you know, and I, me growing up in El Paso and in the Southwest, that's all there is is Mexican food. I mean, mm -hmm. it's hard to find any place that's really healthy, especially when I was growing like, up. My favorite cheat meal is like a chicken parmesan uh, or, jeez, uh, any kind of cheeseburger is just amazing. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I'm speaking for everybody here. Thanks for staying with us, everybody. We are back to taste this wonderful clam chowder <laughs> that Audrey prepared for us, and I can't wait to dig in. Well, I'm going to let you put the little bacon crumbles on top Absolutely. since I didn't do that. Well, let me bring this over here so it's a little bit easier to uh, grab. And then basically, we're just going to top this with some bacon so you've got your little Because everything is there. better oh. with bacon. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. At least on your cheat meals. And then we'll just do a little dab will do ya of, oh, this isn't even open. Let me open this up real quick. Some red wine vinegar. Little dab. And you know what else is great with this red wine vinegar? You can actually throw it on your salads as a nice light dressing too. Of course you got to incorporate the salads, right, <laughs> on our cheat meal. But yes, we do love to make some great salad dressing well, with that. So there's a spoon cheers. for you. Cheers. All right. And let's here we dig go. in. I cannot wait. I'm going to get a little piece of bacon yeah. and some red wine vinegar in this. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. -mm -mm. mm. Okay. You did great. I did that okay. Is so, absolutely. So that, that just great. goes to show mm. you don't have to be a cook like Selena to be able to create one of her recipes.